change in Millie and Molly's town. There was a time when the ferryman didn't even have Bosun, his cat, to keep him company. Would you be wanting a ride on my ferry, Molly? No, thank you very much, Mr Ferryman. I just like to watch. That's a lovely pussycat you have there. His name's Tomcat. Would you like to pat him? Oh, I would indeed. I like cats. <laughs> There's a good pussycat. But lots of things changed when Marmalade and Tomcat had a family. This was the very beginning of Millie and Molly's friendship. But Marmalade and Tomcat's family gave them a problem to solve. What are we going to do with all these kittens? Well, you can't keep them here. But, Mum! No, Molly. We live in an apartment. We barely have room for Tomcat. Oh, It's all right, Molly. I'm sure I'll be able to keep them at my place. No way. No more cats. But, Dad... It's bad enough I have to put up with marmalade without a house full of the things. They're not things. They're... You know I only put up with marmalade for your sake, Millie. You can find new homes for the kittens. Well, can they stay here until we do? Mm, I don't know. Please? I suppose so. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. There won't be any trouble. <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> Just keep them away from me. So Millie and Molly tried to find nice homes for the kittens. Don't too much. You'll frighten the wee little things. I like this one. Can I have her? For sure, Tom. Anyone else like to keep one? They're free. No, I, I have a dog. I'm afraid just about everyone already has a pet, Molly. Well, what about you, Miss Blythe? Would you like a kitten of your very own? Sorry, Millie, but my budgie might object to having to share me with a cat. You'll have to find them homes elsewhere. Oh, I've got an idea. Put them in a box and float them off down the river. <gasps> That's horrible, Humphrey. Oh, can't you take a joke? It's not a very funny joke, Humphrey. Poor little kittens. Don't you pay any attention to Humphrey. We'll find you all nice homes. Yeah. But Millie and Molly weren't in any hurry to part with the rest of the cute little kittens. They liked to pat and stroke and play with them. We could call this one Tiger, because of his stripes. One day, maybe he'll grow up to be a real wild tiger. Rawr! <laughs> yeah, and this one's exactly like Marmalade. Is there a name we could call her that's like Marmalade, but isn't Marmalade? What about Mandarin? That sounds good. Marmalade and Mandarin. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> it's trying to knit something. <laughs> the longer they looked after the kittens, the fonder they grew of them. Millie even began to hope that her dad would get used to the kittens and let her keep them all. What's this? Millie? Now, where am I supposed to sit? Sorry, Dad. I've told you before, I don't like cats, especially cats in my chair. I thought you were trying to find homes for these kittens. We are. Hmm. Well, you need to try a little harder. 
Now, I'm going down to the river to cheer up the ferryman who's feeling a bit lonely. And when I come back, I don't want to see any cats anywhere near my chair. Right? Yes, Dad. He might still change his mind and let us keep them. <laughs> Millie! No, I'm not all right. I've just tripped over the kitten's basket and hurt my leg. Oh. <coughs> oh. What the? What's this? Oh, that's the milk for the kittens. Cats again. Now, I'm going to change my pants, find a walking stick and go and see the ferryman. And you girls, you are going to find the kittens' homes by the end of this week or I will do something about it myself. <gasps> this week? Millie and Molly had to try extra hard to find the kittens' new homes if they were going to do it by the end of the week. Well, I can take one of these. This one's cute. That's Tiger. You will find him a nice home. Won't you? Of course, Millie. And Tiger will make someone a lovely pet. But not everyone's interested in having a pet. I am not interested in having a pet. But they're cute. Cute? What good is cute to me? Well, they keep you company. Company? Why would I need company? I've got my vegetables. Well, sometimes the kids can make you laugh. Fiddlesticks. I've yet to meet anything that'll make me laugh. And some people didn't have room for pets. I don't have room for pets. That's right, but all my animals are working animals. Even my farm cat earns its way by keeping the mouse population down. And some people were even allergic to pets. Oh, no! I'm allergic to pets! <laughs> Sorry, Mr Bookshop owner. Don't worry, Millie. Molly, I'll be all right. <laughs> But as the week drew to a close, Millie and Molly's persistence did bring some success. I like this little one. Looks like his tail was dipped into a milky coffee or a cappuccino. <laughs> that would make a good name for her. Cappuccino. Ha! The perfect name for a cafe cat. Cappuccino. <laughs> I think she likes that. <laughs> <laughs> And the sign Millie and Molly put up at the vet surgery managed to find a home for Mandarin. At Maxter's Tree Hut. Did you know this was the best soccer player in history, Mandarin? Mandarin living in a tree seemed the perfect place for a Mandarin. So by the end of the week, Millie and Molly had found a home for all the kittens. All but one. No matter how hard they'd tried, Millie and Molly hadn't managed to find a home for the last little kitten. What are we going to do? Well, um, he could stay in my room for a bit. But what about your dad? Maybe when his leg gets better, he might let me keep just one. It is only one. Millie's dad's leg was soon feeling good again. And he was feeling even better when he noticed all the kittens had gone. But all the kittens hadn't gone. <coughs> Millie was keeping the last little kitten hidden in her room and well away from her dad. Shh, little one, we don't want Dad to hear you. Millie! <gasps> uh, don't come in, Dad! Why? What are you hiding? Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. <laughs> That was close. Now, what was that that ran under the bed? Ah! Are you OK, Dan? You haven't done what I've asked and found a home for all the kittens. I have just fallen over and hurt my leg again. I fell face down into the kitty litter tray. And there are things in my hair I can't even bear think about. And you ask me if I'm okay. But Dad, what are you going to do with the little kitten? I warned.
warned you, if you didn't find a home for all the kittens, I would do something about it myself. Well, where are you going to take him then? Where I should have in the first place. Down to the river. The river! Millie and Molly remembered what Humphrey had said about putting the kittens in a box and floating them off down the river. The kitten was in a box and Millie's dad was heading for the river. The friends knew a shortcut to the river, but could they get there in time to stop Millie's dad? It was still a long way to run to beat a car. already found him a home. Huh? Don't you two worry. This little kitten's going to have the best home ever, keeping me from being lonely on my ferry. <laughs> and that's how the ferryman came to have Bosun, who grew up and kept the ferryman company his whole life. How Bosun got the scar over his eye? Well, that's a whole other story. Mm -hmm.